like United in diversity, okay? And that's because young people all like you have said they wanted an event where we could bring people together and celebrate our differences. So that's what today is all about. Are you ready to have fun? So we decided that we'd do a rock, paper, scissors on who would win, who would go first. And unfortunately, I lost. So uh, I'll go first. Um, so I'm Mr. Wood, I'm the leader of um, the hub at Honeywood and enhanced provision um, for learners with autism. Uh, the hub is designated as a safe space within the mainstream school that helps learners to explore their autism uh, and to learn how to manage their emotions in a nurturing and caring environment. I'm an ambassador for the Multi Schools Council, learner at Honeywood School, and I'll be talking to you about my experiences in the school and the views that some of the teachers may have with understanding a learner with disabilities. My disability is autism and dyspraxia, but it means that sometimes I struggle to read and write, and it also affects my emotional and social behaviours that some people don't understand very well. During my first three years, learning at school, I needed a lot of support and help because nobody knew I had autism. At the time, I was just a naughty child and my parents tried to help me when I was year one to encourage my behaviour. My teacher would always find excuses not to give me a reward for positive behaviour. I believe this because they did not necessarily understand why I might behave in a certain way. It's almost over. Let those feelings flow away When it hurts so much that it's hard to move on It's okay to admit that you don't feel strong Feels like the worst has come Just know you're not done Hello, my name is Harrison, I'm autistic And when I'm older I aspire to be a pilot I know it may seem like such a far goal, especially for my age and the fact that I haven't even started my GCSE study yet. But you must be thinking, Harrison, you can't be a pilot because your brain doesn't work. But that's not quite it. My brain is just wired differently to everyone else's, just like how I'm unique and just how everyone else is unique. I'm unique in my own way, such as I can focus on one thing and know all about it, such as aviation. I can list the type of aircraft as a model and company, approximate amount of seats and engine type from all viewing it from the ground whilst it is in flight. I can go on for hours. I have a passion for aviation and that's why I would like to be a pilot. People may have an opinion on who you are or think you can't do specific things, but it doesn't mean you can't do the goals you have set for yourself. I am motivated by people telling me I can't do things. It may sound strange, but the fact is, when people tell me I can't do specific things, I like to push myself harder to prove those people wrong. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Connell Scholar and I'm autistic and I'm also an ambassador for the Modest Schools Council. So today I wanted to speak to you a bit about mental health. So I'm also a mental health advocate and it was Mental Health Awareness Week last week so I just wanted to speak to you guys a bit about that. So basically we all have mental health. It's within us, the same as physical health. Uh, but the thing is, there is a stigma attached to mental health. We don't treat it the same as physical health. For a lot of reasons, there's a lot of stigma attached to it. For example, if you have a broken arm, 
everyone signs it, puts their name, name on it, and says, so get well soon. But sometimes when you have a mental health difficulty or problem, uh, people tend to turn a blind eye, and that's something that's got to change, particularly in today's society. But the one thing I'm going to say about, about this is, we all have our own struggles in life. We all struggle and we do all things differently. But the bottom line is, there is people around you. There's people you can talk to if you're feeling down or feeling yourself. Embrace your differences, be unique, have self-belief. Be inspired and follow your passions and go on to do great things. I'm gonna treat you with a little kindness.